Sydney! When the Ruby Princess sailed into Sydney for the first time last year, the ship was greeted with fireworks and celebrations. And it's the love boat. Everybody wants to go on the love boat. The thing we love about it is that it's a really easy way of seeing the world. The Ruby ticked all the boxes for us. Having a lovely dinner with all our friends. Lovely drinks. Cheers to us. Now, the Ruby Princess is famous for all the wrong reasons. The ship has become the largest single source of COVID-19 infections in Australia. And they put the mighty dollar first and they never put our safety first. Absolutely appalling what they've done. A special commission of inquiry is examining how hundreds of infected passengers were allowed to leave the ship, spreading the virus around the country and the world. Everybody on that ship wants to know the truth. How many of us are infected? How many people have died? We thought we were going to go into the problem. We didn't realise we were going to be the problem. There were lots of unanswered questions. Was there criminal negligence in relation to the way that this matter was handled that contributed to the deaths of any of those people? The company was well aware of the risks. Only five weeks earlier, a sister ship, the Diamond Princess, had been crippled with COVID-19. So that's basically our living space for the quarantine. It could be anywhere, you know, you're hiding from something you don't know, and where do you hide? So, yeah, sorry. The Australian authorities should have been put on notice that cruise ships coming in were potentially going to be sources of the virus and that steps needed to be taken. We investigate how this public health disaster was ever allowed to happen. We look at the role played by Australian authorities and how the multi-billion dollar cruise industry failed to protect passengers and crew in a global pandemic.